Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soa for Soa Diary, and I post videos relating to photography, lifestyle, travel, and more. When you get a chance, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So today I'm just gonna give you a life update. But as I'm doing that, I'm just going to do like a little bit of makeup. I'm in my bathroom and just had my bath, moisturized my face, and I was like, let me just talk to you guys on a few things like life updates and stuff that's been going on for the past like few months i don't know if you noticed i'm in my bathroom and we changed the paint color i may put like a the previous color that we had here because i had used it for like i think two of my videos anyways we changed the paint color of my bathroom my bedroom and parts of downstairs why did we do that yeah so initially so flashback flashback flash, flashback my kids we used to take them to um they used to go to a private school when they were younger like pre-k and kindergarten and then because the private school was really far away it was too much for me initially when i wasn't working from home so the commute was so much and then we decided once the kids were grown up to start first grade and kindergarten, we put them in school closer here, public school, which is great. I know, but I don't know, with COVID and everything, we decided to take them back to, I mean, take them back to the same private school. I don't know, we just had that, this, made that decision. And apparently a lot of parents <laughs> making that same decision. Um, yeah, so because the private school is still far away, we decided, okay, we need to move at some point because the kids are going to be there by God's grace till high school because right now they're in elementary. And if you're going to be there in high school till high school, we can't keep commuting back and forth. I know. So we're thinking, okay, we're going to move down there at some point. So we started the whole process. I decided to do like a video of, oh, yeah, Let's start decluttering and then let me start packing and start the process of moving and all. But before we even started that, we got a staging consultant to come in and check the home since we were thinking of selling this house in order to move to another home, right? So we started that. So she came in and gave us options of like, different paint colors and all that stuff and um this was one of the paint colors for the master bedroom and the living area and all that stuff so we're like okay yeah we're gonna paint a few places we would probably not paint the kids rooms and the guest room so we didn't do that but we decided to just change a few things in that process while we we're thinking oh yeah we're gonna sell this house as we were cleaning up and everything clean up the garage and all. I'm going to put a few clips yeah, as I'm talking just to show how I started the whole process. We cleaned up the garage. We, um, I started the whole process of getting like storage bags from Amazon. I'm going to put all the links in the description below because it's really helped me. Storage bags and vacuum bags for like blankets and everything. So I'll just put like clips as I'm talking. So we decided to do that. And then as we were thinking of, as we, they started painting, like the contractor started, my husband was like, okay, we love this home. I mean, I love this home. This is my, this was my first home that we bought as a married couple, right? I mean, the kids have been growing up here and everything. So we're like, oh, yeah, we love this home. Instead of selling this home, let's put it out for rent, right? And we now decided, okay, we're no longer gonna move. We we'll just stay for a few more months, probably a year, hopefully not a whole year, but anyway, a few more months and then we will, okay. And then we will um, move at some point. So you can imagine all the packing, all the stuff I did, um, we had to, unpack again but before we did that or before we decided to do that 
my eyes I'm not always having issues with my eyes so I just put in powder nothing big eyebrows powder um, lip gloss from Copari I'm trying not to like do all this because right now this is the only makeup I have I packed everything and I haven't unpacked story story anyways let me continue with my story so before we um, decided to move back or we we're thinking okay yeah we're gonna paint in painting in the printing process we went to my friend's place thinking we we're gonna be there for like a whole weekend i just love her so much and her husband and i'm just so glad they live like seven minutes away so we stayed there well the plan was to stay there for the weekend while they're painting right and then we were like oh now that we're out of the house and everything is kind of like all over the place in the house let's change our carpeted floors carpet in our bedrooms all bedrooms into hardwood floors because i've been thinking about doing that for years because we've been here for like seven years maybe who's oh, over seven years so we decided to do that hardwood floors we thought would take like maybe another week or maybe three to four days and then clean up that's another week and then we'll move back in yeah so we just we ended up staying at my cousin my, my cousin my friend she's like my sister we stayed there for like almost three weeks can you imagine so apart from the fact that when i was packing like before people came in i started packing i was exhausted when we were there i had to pack stuff that i mean kids had to go to school everything we had to work over like as if we were living there we had to take all our computers everything thank god she had a bigger home so we could put like everyone had their own space i'm just so grateful for her and everything and that's how we started living there like my daughter was doing virtual my kid my son was going to private school probably was working from home sometimes taking him to school i work from, from like in my friend's house so we're there for like three weeks waiting 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 for this the contractors to finish this thing they were delaying they kind of disappointed us but anyways we're back home and yeah this video i don't know how long it's going to be but this is us and yeah so the color here is not bad it's like a, a gray color let me wash my hands from all this makeup anyways yeah how do i look i think i look okay thank god i did this cornrows because my daughter's birthday was on tuesday today is thursday we went to do her hair and my cornrows on monday so i'm glad that i don't have any issues with my hair because when we were at my friend's place my hair wasn't um anywho's yeah so now i have kind of like yeah this is what i used to prop my camera i kind of like um started packing so i'm going to show you a few things i mean now we have to like unpack granted the paint color here so you can see that it's really nice it's like gray color it's, it's pretty good the color that was here before was like mint blue and then there, there's no more carpet it's all hardwood so that's fantastic i love it and then we put a ceiling fan up here things that we were thinking of doing um before we moved in but we didn't do it and we were like oh yeah we'll continue once we moved in but you know how life is after years you end up not doing anything but so we were like let's just use this opportunity so that when it's time to rent we won't even have to do anything we just clean up the house move out and the house be ready to be rented anywho so i'm gonna flip and show you some of the bags that i used to pack so so like these are the bags that i got from amazon they're not bad actually they're really really good so what i did was i was trying to be very um what's it called organized so i put in so as clothes so as shoes like my kids clothes all that so i got these bags so there are many here and obviously boxes even boxes from amazon and then i got these vacuum bags for what's it called for my blankets and all that stuff so i literally organized my life myself to move out like decluttered everything so now we are moving back in if that makes sense i'm going to try to make it as minimal as possible um when moving back in so my closet now and then one thing that happened was that when the contractors came in and changed everything painted stuff like this is my closet now i mean it's so disorganized but 
I have to start organizing stuff. So when the contractors came in and did all the stuff, they didn't clean up. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. They didn't really clean up as much. So I have been even before we moved back then, I had to like clean up all like the surfaces, like even all the way up here where they did all the work. So it's been dusty, everything, even in my kids' bedrooms, my um yeah kids bedrooms like everywhere the guest room all that we had to kind of like pre-dust off all the areas before we got cleaners to come in and clean before like anyways they're probably going to come in at, in another month because i want to kind of like get myself together get this house together before um um they come back and clean again so what i did was i made sure that at least we had new sheets for the for every bed so that when we came back from my friend's place we would it would be at least livable slippable <laughs> if that makes sense so the house looks nice and new and neat and all that so i mean there's still a lot to do in my bedroom like bear in mind i wasn't feeling well i was taking care of kids working <sighs> Thank God my husband like and my friends they were like cooking and everything. I also did a little bit, but just getting the kids together, everything. It's it's basically been a stressful two months and I'm praying. I'm just I've just been praying. I don't want to be, find myself in the hospital. But yeah, that's what's been going on. And then with life, right now, this is October 15. Um, stuff is going on in Nigeria about um police brutality. So it's so many bad stories. I'm just like, wow. And then this is my, the play area for the kids. We removed the rug here. I mean, this was already hardwood. And then my hubby had to create like his own office here. We removed that from the guest room. And then this is my kids' bedrooms, had the rug. And my other kids' bedroom with hardwood I mean yeah so it had rugs and now hardwood so we've kind of like gotten ourselves together in a way it's just that and then even laundry I had to do laundry and redo some laundry because of the dust so the only carpeted area is these stairs I don't know if you can see it but even this the cleaners cleaned it but we're gonna get a carpet cleaning company to come clean this off because a lot of traffic was going on here when the contractors were around yeah so and then the color of this is kind of similar to our bedroom so it's it's not bad it's really nice before it was like a creamy color i think i'll put a clip here of how the how this area was before but it's, it's nice and then one thing we did was we changed all the lights so all the lighting we made them like daylight type lighting as opposed to like the yellow I mean, we'd have some lamps with the yellow for like evening time and all that, but everything is daylight. So like the lighting is really, really good. So we have a lot of things to do. We've kind of cleaned up the kitchen area, the pantry, because we did all that before we moved. We started packing and moving and then, but well, now the garage has like the older furniture and a few things. I even have stuff that I need to sell. So all my selling stuff had been moved from the storage to the garage so i need to start that process and then even as i'm repacking i'm going to put in more clothes and items for sale so i'm gonna have uh, let me sit down so i'm gonna have a uh, what's it called a video for um, my poshmarks my poshmark account and then i'm gonna open a mccary account to sell stuff so i'm gonna do a video for that as well and then, um, what else? So, <laughs> because of the way life has been, I just feel like I haven't gotten myself together. I know I will by his grace. I mean, what month are we were in October, November, December, looking forward to Thanksgiving, looking forward to Christmas and New Year. I can't believe this year is almost ending. Um, what else? So I had filmed a number of videos for this whole packing process. So I, I was thinking of doing like a whole series, but I won't do, that now until we're actually actually moving so probably next year but what i'm going to do is I'll, as i'm talking i'm showing clips and all and i'm going to put links in the description below of like some of the items i use 
for um, packing, like the bags, like different things. If you um, would like to use those if you're packing. But one thing that I really, really liked was the fact that I had decluttered and I had organized my packing regardless of whether or not we're unpacking back here. <laughs> so that kind of helped me. So I'm not like, ah! I mean, initially when the contract, when things were happening, I was like, oh my gosh, I like my house, blah, blah, blah. But now it's kind of like getting back together. So time does, I mean, you really need patience and time for anything that's happening in your life, really. Know that things will always get better. So that's what I'm trying to like remind myself. And I'm telling myself, and then I took a few days off from work. So that's another thing. I'm just so glad I could do that to kind of get my brain together and everything. So yeah, um, what else is happening? I filmed, I had filmed a few videos. Hopefully I put them out there. I'm trying to put in videos every Saturday morning at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to put those there. But this is like a life update of what's happening. I mean, I had filmed um, Amazon unboxing. That was like months back, but I'm still gonna put it out there. Even Disney, because we couldn't go to Disney in August. We were thinking of going to Disney in December, but because we had thought we were moving, I canceled the Disney trip. But I had filmed a, a Disney before even um, COVID started. And I'm thinking, should I put it out there just to show, oh yeah, how to even plan for a Disney trip? but do another video on what to pack and then add like the masks and hand sanitizers and everything because this was way, way before COVID. So I have that going on. And then, so I have a few videos out there that I have filmed and edited and then other videos that I have filmed but not edited yet. And then other videos that I'm, I'm yet to film. So it's, it's a whole lot of things, but I'm just gonna take my time, control my content creation and whatever I'm doing with YouTube because there's a whole lot going on with life and all but I just want to give you this life update I'm about to eat because I didn't have breakfast and I made um salmon yeah I made salmon so I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna have um some rice um hubby made jollof rice and vegetable soup yesterday and goat meat but I just, I like eating fish. I know, I mean, goat meat is not bad, but it's not every time I, I like to eat meat. So I made fish. So I'll just eat some jollof and start working on my closet. So yeah, how many minutes has this been? 18 minutes. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but yeah, this is the life update. <laughs> oh, it's so, uh, so, and then, yeah, let me even show you the guest room. This is where like guests stay. So this is also um, hardwood floors as well. And we put in a bigger TV here. And sometimes my mom stays here or guests. My, my hobby's office used to be here, but he, now he put it upstairs. So we kind of made a few changes here and there, which is not bad. It's not bad. And then there's a ceiling fan here as well. There wasn't a ceiling fan here before. So I'm glad we kind of did this. At least let's enjoy this house for a few more months before we move into a bigger house because that's the idea the idea was to move into a house um with a few more rooms at least we could have like extra office space and stuff like that anyways let me stop talking and blabbing away but hopefully you get it <laughs> and um yeah i'm just trying to be positive because i have been like whoa crying in my brain and crying in my body because of the pain I've been going through, especially with my legs, I have to, I'm going to do x-ray today. It's just been a whole lot. I even went to NIH in you know, July for options of whether to do a bone marrow transplant. I will have a whole video series on that, but I haven't even put it on YouTube yet. <sighs> it's just been a lot. Yeah, it's been a lot of different things, but as always, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to just control I'm the one controlling whatever it is that's happening. I have control over it. If I don't have control over, oh yeah, my fridge. If I don't have control over things, then I know God is in control of that as well. I mean, God is in control of everything. That's what I tell myself. So I just take things one day at a time because I can't stress myself. Even if I feel stressed and I'm crying, I've cried many times. I still cannot stress myself, I can't stress my life. So yeah, that's me. Okay.
thank you so much for watching this video if you went all the way to 20 minutes thank you thank you <laughs> oh gosh try and watch all my other videos uh, i have a playlist that says binge watch hair so you can do that i mean because it helps i i need well right now i have like 800 and something subscribers thank you so much to everyone and i have how many you need 4,000 hours to be monetized on youtube I, I think i have like a thousand or something so i need more views i need people to watch my videos and they're actually good videos helpful videos because i try to help people um in different ways so yeah thank you so much and remember to let your cup run it over yeah take care bye